And action! So we've done the first scan and um, there's no survey control on this. It's basically, they are putting a steelwork extension on the roof. So they need to know what the state of the roof is, where the walls are. It's not really rectangular. So they've asked us to scan it. So it's done the first scan, which you can just kind of basically see on there. We're going to orientate it that way. So that square to the page, just so it fits on the page really. The engineer who's doing the structural work isn't really bothered because he's doing everything directly off the scan and designing it in 3D. So we do that, accept that, and that's the first one positioned. Then we go to the next scan position, do that, and that shall automatically register to the first one. And away we go. So we're here today in Leeds to do a, a scan of a rooftop that they're putting a, an extension on going up a floor with some um, low density steel. It's not rectangular, not level. So the easiest way to do it is to scan it. This is my favorite job for a long time because normally, historically, we've done this work in London, which involves me getting up at three o'clock in the morning, driving down to some NCP car park before the rush, getting into somewhere in Whitehall or Kensington or Knightsbridge or some embassy, doing a bit of a scan job, then getting in the car and driving home which costs fuel, time and effort. But this one's in Leeds. So what I can do is get in here eight o'clock, get the job done, and then I've got spare money. So I'm gonna go and possibly buy some Nike Air Jordans because I've heard that's what all the cool directors wear nowadays. So the, yeah, this is the real tricky bit about the laser scanning with the X7. I've scanned, now I have to move it a little bit. We do more scans at less intensity because then you get the blind spots so we'll do kind of one in the middle here and then press start and then i will just put this underneath the tripod so it doesn't get scanned and then we'll leave it to it so we can even move around out of the scan as it's scanning or just get right out of the way in a blind spot just so we're not in the data the advantage of a laser scan is that you get everything so when you do traditional surveying you come upon a, a roof like this and the surveyor interprets what he thinks is important and he'll just get corners, maybe a few levels along a parapet wall. He won't get it all. And so I'll, the surveyor's interpreting it, put it on a drawing that's an interpretation of what's here. Then the designer will get that, interpret from that to do his design. Where with a scan and kind of reality capture, you're working off what's there. So once you get used to working in the 3D world, it's much easier. You've got pictures, obviously the scan geometry, but different kind of filters. So you can get the intensities, which will show you the different materials, the normals, which will show you the kind of, the angle that, that the scans hit it, so you can see edges better. It's just easier. And plus it's, it's generally a one man job, one woman job, one whoever job. The scanners are lightweight now. I think the one I've got weighs less than 10 kilogram. Um, so you can take it up ladders, take it on a tube, take it on a train, go to site, do the work, check the work's done on the tablet and then go home. There's no processing work. I can do this, register it, refine it and then connect this to Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone and send a file mail link to the engineer and he'll have that this afternoon so he can get working. You need to have an understanding of what you, what an engineer needs out of it. Surveying knowledge does help, but it's more experience in where you put the scanner. So you might think doing high resolution scans is the best option because you get more information, but it, it, it's sometimes too much information. Less intensity and more scans probably takes about the same time, but it's less data and you're going to get blind spots then. And um, the idea is you want to give them enough information to do the job, but not too much data and file size to blow up their computer. You're giving me wind and rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you me That's just showing the intensity view. We can change the view to scan colour, which we've not coloured them yet, or scan set, or that one scan position. So you've got the green and the blue which shows you where they overlap. So it positions them near each other using the IMUs and a bit of basic kind of registration. But then when you've done, you can refine that. And it'll almost close the loop of a traverse and, and, and use everything together. So at the minute, it's just using the last scan position. But when we finish, we'll refine it and it'll do them um, all together. We can also go in here and start to color the scans. And that'll do that while we're working. 
tend not to do that for bigger jobs because it's only a tablet and if it gets a bit hot it, um, it doesn't like it but it doesn't take long to do it when you're finished. We've got the free scans now, next one we just press start. This is the estimated time, um, that's the free space on the SD card in the machine. We've got a spare one for that but basically when that gets full up it records to the scanner and then transfers it to the tablet. So if this dies, we can still work, but we always carry a spare SD card. Necessities, spare SD card and door wedges for opening doors, because um, you don't always have a fire extinguisher to hand. But yeah, and that goes. The more intensity you have on the scan, the, the better the images you need. Longer range scans need better images. Um, takes a bit more time, but it's pretty boring once you get going. I have realized that two minutes is just enough time. The longer range scans, um, on high intensity, I think it takes six minutes or eight minutes, which is basically enough time to walk over the road and order a kebab, but not to eat one. So this is the last scan of this kind of loop. We always try and close off somehow because then when you refine it, it uses all the scans together and just gives you a stronger network. You can just go down one leg and it'll open like an open traverse and it'll still work, but being a surveyor, I just want a bit of confidence. So we've got the closed loop there, as you can see on the screen. And there's a few more bits just to fill in, but it will all come off this loop and that'll be the strength of the network. It's taken what, two minutes per scan, 15 scans. We've probably been up here an hour at most. And that's with a bit of faffing about redoing things for this little video. So, because we're here, they may need a bit more. They haven't really asked for it, but they might do. So, because we can, we do. So, this is the advantage of having plant fitters. I need to get this wall, so they've made me a bracket with a 5 8 thread on it, out of a winch with a bit of welding, and that'll go on. So now we can scan like that, like that, like that, how we like. This is very handy on projects where we've got to get into um, risers and stuff like that, or when we're doing construction sites and they've got scaffold walkways. You can't really set a tripod up because the boards bounce and people need to get down them. But if we can put this on the scaffolding, which is pretty rigid, works like a dream. Is that over 45? A bit more, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. So even though this is steel that is designed to be strong enough to hold a man, every time I put this scanner on it and turn it upside down, I am petrified. So that's why it doesn't unclip, unlock, un anything, because I don't want it to fall off but I can quite easily unscrew it off the thread. Damn. So that's the last scan for up here. Now, going downstairs just to get the underside of the roof, just so he knows what the structure that's like. We don't really need to tie them together, but it doesn't take long to go down the stairs, so we might as well. And then we'll refine it. We could send it straight from here, but why waste my mobile phone data when I can just go back to the office, which is five minutes away, and send it from there.
Right, so that's inside and outside done. You can see that we have a 3D scan of the roof and we did a few on the first floor but not many. And then we just go scan, refine, and this is the, the tricky bit. We press, refine. Maybe five minutes that'll take because we've got all the scans already pre-registered. It's just kind of working them all together. So it's off now, you see, and that'll be done.